Harry Trigoboff became Australia's second wealthiest man by timing his moves in and out of the housing market. But the boss of Meriton, who has built 75,000 apartments, remains a property fan, even if recovery might take a while. Harry Trigoboff, worth $12.7 billion, give or take, got wealthy by being an optimist and, at 85, he still has plenty of it. Today, though, for Nine News, he's answering your most common questions about buying property. First up, will home prices keep on falling? Most of the fall has taken place. Next, when should you buy? There is no dreadful hurry. It's not going to jump up tomorrow. But they should get acquainted with the market and then make a choice. Will the banks easily lend you money? They're good to those that have got the money. It's a, it's a bit hard. They're not giving any money to the new ones. The old ones they're good to. Are the banks being tough on owners who are getting into trouble? The banks are very good that they are not foreclosing. I mean, I was very worried that they would foreclose, but they don't foreclose. In the last big property downturn, when Harry was struggling to sell apartments in this place, he did something else. He started to lease them out to tourists. Now, Meriton Suites is the largest owner of hotel suites in the country. Four and a half thousand apartments. And in this property downturn, he intends to do exactly the same thing. With the land I have and with the ease with which I can lease, I'm building at the same rate. So what I can't sell, I lease. But are there too many apartments being built? Not enough buyers. Long term, though, <laughs> you can't just keep on building. It'll just burst in the end. And what about Labor's plans to change negative gearing rules? Will it hurt the market? The place is not going to collapse if we don't. But it will <laughs> make it a bit longer for things to come good. Ross Greenwood, Nine News.